Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Sven and I am the 2D designer at Epic Bad Studios, which is a small game development team. In this tutorial I will show the process of drawing a pixel art character in Aceprite. A link to our website and to the software used is in the video description. So, first of all I start the project with drawing the head of the character first. This time I wanted to draw a coal instead of a head. You don't have to start your character by drawing a head, but that's usually how I like to do it. Also I didn't really want to draw a face, so I decided to draw a mask instead. And you will see the final design of the mask in the end, because it changed quite a bit. After I'm done drawing the basic shapes, I'm adding some details to the mask to make it look more interesting. Notice how I have to keep the perspective in mind, the character isn't facing towards us. Next up, I'm drawing big bold shoulders for this character. I have something like a dungeon guardian in mind, so I want the armor to appear huge and epic. Also, later on in this video, I'm adding some detail like spikes to the shoulders. Now it's time to rename the four layers we got so far, so we aren't confused with the basic name of the layers. I just named them like the body parts drawn in them. You can rename the layer by double clicking onto the layer you want to rename and then just type the name you want it to have. For alternative you can select the layer and press shift plus p and then change the name. After finishing the shoulders and arrange them I start to sketch the basic shape of the body. The blue line you see under the right shoulder was planned to be the start of an arm, but it actually inspired me to draw a cape for this character. Also, the next minute is me trying to find a cool design to add to the head, but I didn't really come up with something good, so um, this idea died really fast. Quite some time was wasted, but that doesn't actually stop us from continuing on the chest piece. Here I'm starting with the upper chest by drawing the outlines first and then filling them up with the right color. Outlines are really useful to visualize where everything is and how everything turns out together. After that, I continued on drawing the torso and adding the first shape of the cape. Since my character still had no arms, I also add them. You can see how useful layers are in Acebrite. Of course I just have to copy my first arm and paste it on a layer located behind the chest and the torso layer. So the second arm appears behind those in the drawing itself. Now I just have to arrange the second arm so they don't look like each other. For this arm I'm thinking about lifting it up so I can draw something in the hand later on. Next up, I already add small amounts of shadow to my character. For example on the cape which I'm continuing and on the torso. So now we have a good beginning shape and I can move on to the legs. I started sketching those two, but after the basic form was set, I wasn't really satisfied with the results. So I also changed them later on and continued on the cape. I didn't want the cape to be too long. Some characters might have other varieties of cape or whatever, but I didn't want this cape to touch the ground, so I made it shorter.
Now I fill up the empty hand with this death. What a surprise. Also I'm rearranging the shoulder location because the shoulders are a little bit too close together. We are also finally at the part where I add the fancy spikes onto the shoulders and also this really was the point where I wanted to work on the legs. I worked on them until I found a good pose for the legs. The big problem with the first legs were that they actually were too straight. Straight legs aren't really interesting to look at. And now we found the perfect shape for our legs. Now it's finally time for adding some shadows. Shadows are actually super important and they help to make your character look more 3D. Without shadow it would look really really flat. Right, now I'm thinking about where the shadow hits my character. Since the light source is from above the character, the shadow has to cast under every elevation. A good trick for drawing shadow is creating a new layer with the shortcut Shift plus N and then drawing with pitch black color where the shadow should be on the character, as seen in the video. Now just turn the opacity of the layer down and merge it. To merge the layer, just right click it and click on merge layer. So the layer merges with the layer below. So, now that the character is almost done, I'm just drawing a design for the step. Same with the legs, I didn't like the first design of the step. So I erased it and did the step all over again. Also keep in mind that our staff also is a new small light source, so don't forget to cast some light onto the character. For this I use the same technique as for the shadow. Create a new layer and turn the opacity down. That's pretty much it with the tutorial. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Also, I would love to hear from you, so leave a comment.